Hello guys, welcome to Communication DH. In this video, I'm reviewing a BT71 MiFi. This MiFi is the same as the EE70. Inside the box, we have the device. And we have the USB cable for charging. Let's set up the MiFi. In front of the MiFi, we have four LED indicators, the network, the Wi-Fi, the message, and the battery. By the side, we have the USB charger. On top, we have the power button. Inside, we have a 2200 mAh battery. Inside the battery compartment is the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. This MiFi is just a nano SIM. We need to write these details down because it's not written at the back of the battery. So let's type it on our notepad. We we'll use the Wi Fi key to connect and we we'll use the password to log into the IP address. So we are done. So now let's insert our SIM into the device. We're using this Vodafone SIM to try the MiFi. The MiFi takes about 20 seconds to fully restart. The network has to turn blue for it to be working. So now the network reception is blue. Let's connect it to our laptop. We'll copy and paste the Wi Fi password. The name of the device is BT. That's this BT Mini Hub. We we'll paste our Wi Fi password. So now we are connected and secure to the device. Let's log into the IP address 192.168.1.1. We click on login. So the password of the IP address is the second password we wrote down on the notepad. I'll use our web login password to connect. So now it's requesting for us to change the web login password. So we have to change it. So the first is the current password. Then we'll enter our new password. So we are done with changing our web login password. So over here, you can change your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. Use your Wi-Fi name, use your Wi-Fi password. So let's change both of them. We'll be using Swift GH as our Wi-Fi name. And our password will be using Swift123. So now we have to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. So we'll go to settings. Our Wi-Fi name will be Swift GH. So this is our Wi-Fi. So our password is Swift123. Our 
Our Wi-Fi is connected and secure, which means we have access to the internet. So now let's test our internet access. Our internet access is working. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this. And turn on the notification. See you guys in the next video. Bye.